All right, you ready for this? This. This is as close to magic as you'll ever oh, see. Oh, okay. Now, All right. So the bowl starts like this, an empty bowl. And then to the empty bowl, we add some water. A lot right, of so, water. Yes. So the water goes inside. And is you this know magic what happens. sand? Oh, this is, well. It's all magic in Cobra's hands, all right? So so, uh, so here is the sand. Here, take a look at that nice, dry sand. Very Got fine, it? Very nice, right, yes. Nice. So the sand goes inside here, okay? So there's the sand there. A little bit of red, no yes. speaking. Uh, and followed by a little bit of... Uh, yeah, yellow. Uh, yellow. Yellow. A little yellow will go inside. Oh, wait do you see oh, this. Oh, no, 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 no oh, speaking. Oh, wait do you see uh, this. And a little bit of... Blue. Nice. All right, so a little bit of blue in there, no speaking, oh Mr. Oh, my God. No, oh. don't talk. All right, so now look at this. We, we mix it around like this. Oh, magic sand. And now, go ahead, Mark, call out a color. Uh, uh, yellow. Yellow. Would it not be amazing if in this bowl that you saw there are no partitions or anything, I, I could just reach down inside and pull out, yes, ladies and gentlemen, dry yellow no sand. Way. Would you like, there's look the dry. That. Go ahead, pick another color. Blue. Perfect. All right, so look at this. Oh, my gosh. Would you look? It is dry blue sand. And How finally, pick, a, pick another color. Red. I'm so glad you picked it. How Mixed in with a little. There's a little it bit. It didn't of, absorb any of the isn't water. Isn't that amazing? Ta-da. Oh, in, in there, it almost looks <sighs> solid. It, when, uh, it looks very cool, doesn't it? All right, so you got the amazing. benefit that everybody else didn't get to see, so let's show them what it oh, looks like, all right? All right? Okay. So all this right. was an old, old trick that they, the legend has that the Egyptians used to do. This is a sand, you can kind of see what's going on here, that has been treated, believe it or not, with a substance like Scotchgard. Really? So you put the sand down on the table and you treat it with Scotchgard, it makes it a hydrophobic or a water-fearing kind of sand. Oh, so this awesome. is when you go outside, so um, you know, you how, how it beads up. So watch this as we pour a little of this in. Look, look at this. this. Here I thought is, it was congealing into like a solid of some kind. Look at that. There I mean, it just kind of stacks up and is it looks the blue. like... Is that amazing? So it's in there. Now, it's okay. I know you have anchor hands, but you can roll up your sleeves just a little bit. It's in your contract not to get your wet, but I, th I think <laughs> yeah, you'll be Yeah, like there. it's also in there not to set me on fire. <laughs> yeah. That hasn't All right, happened. so just reach in there and pick like some of this? that up. Yeah, try some of that. Oh, there it is. It literally... Look at this. And there... Ah, is your dry sand. Look at that. That's just that, amazing. That is so, amazing. So when you reach in and pull, it literally just stays completely dry. So as you start to come up, look at this, and there it is. And there is your dry sand. That is so if just we're teaching amazing. kids about the property of Scotchgard, it's as close as your like your local Target store or one of those, or if you Google magic sand, you'll see a, a lot of different things that are there. So a cool toy that's truly a science toy, but can that kind is. of have a little magic slant Hydra, to it as well. It's hydrophobic. Hydrophobic meaning water. Water fearing, water fearing. Hmm. right? Uh, hydrophilic would be water uh, loving, so we would say like cotton, for example, absorbs the water. But in a glass like this, you can kind of see what happens. Grab the red that's over oh, there okay. if you want to. Right. Yeah, so as you pour that in, go ahead and hold it up, and as you pour it in, you can kind of just see the little sand castles that you can right. kind of make inside. But literally, as it touches, there it is, and so it just stays <laughs> nice and dry. Isn't that fun? Isn't so you can just build amazing. little sand castles. Look at that. That is Isn't that just great? remarkable. I love the idea of being able to scoop in and kind of pull some of it out. So they say the ancient Egyptians would be able to reach in and pull out dry sand. And the crowd would amazing. be amazed. Um, you know what? You could do this at the Nine News picnic if you wanted to. I right? could. So I'd no, be very entertaining. Nobody would be watching. They're all working right you know, now. So we could put you in a little corner all of the if, table. If you have grandchildren, all of this stuff, <laughs> it is, your, your grandchildren just can't get enough of it. Can I yeah. do this? Well, absolutely. Oh, and so it you literally returns. just pour the water off. So you see how it beads up? So again, just a little bit of Scotch Guard. If you want to make your own, but I have a feeling that you know you head to, to Target and you find uh, some or you know any of those stores and you kind of see what that looks like. Look at and, that. and you are gonna see you're gonna do the news a little bit later on, and it's um yes. people are gonna say, why does he have red hands? And you're gonna say it <laughs> but, was magic. But I but I'm not on fire and no. there's no holes <laughs> in, true. in my clothing, which is typically what happens, <laughs> which makes me fire phobic, right? This is exactly. So I'm I just tell about the website while you're in here. <laughs>